Welcome to Electrical Engineering with Excel. This video is about taking Excel's line S function to the next level, returning regression data for nonlinear functions. This includes logarithmic, exponential, power, and polynomial functions. A while back, I uploaded the digitizing spec plots video. It laid out a method to turn plot shapes and specifications into equations. I begin with a plot image, then use the Automeris plot digitizer to create a set of XY pairs. These XY pairs were pasted into Excel and a scatter plot was made with a trend line. The trend line was displayed on the chart. The trend line options are shown here. In this case, a second order polynomial was the appropriate fit. The default trend line equation lacks precision and it's just a graphic display of the equation. Although you could format the trend line to display your higher resolution coefficients, the line S function will return the coefficients into a spill array. That way you have them in cells with full precision. Let's start by looking at how linear regression was done in the past. I've generated a set of 10 XY pairs. These cells has the line equation mx plus b and some noise added by the random function, which I currently have set to zero. The slope function was used to return the slope of the array of xy pairs, and the intercept function returned the y-intercept. The Corel function returns the correlation coefficient. Now I'll demonstrate the line S function. Here's the same set of xy pairs, the arguments for the line S function is the known y's and known x's. Now we will get a spill array with m and b. The third argument is called constant, and if false, it sets b to zero. If true or omitted, it calculates b normally. The fourth argument is stats. When set to true, it displays all the statistics in a spill array. Here's the legend for the data. It contains the M coefficients and B, the standard error for each coefficient and for B. It has the R squared value, the standard error for the Y value, the F statistic, the degrees of freedom, the regression sum of squares, and the residual sum of squares. I'll add a bit of noise and you can see the outputs change and the R squared value degrades. Now let's look at nonlinear examples. Here's the equation for a logarithmic function. I have the y's calculated just like in the formula. In the line s function, we need to use the natural log function on the known x's. This gives us m and b. Now for exponential functions. I've created an exponential set of y's with this formula. To get the statistics, for the exponential, we need to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. So now in the line S function, we will need to take the natural log of the known y's array. The only trick is it returns the natural log of A. So to get A, just do e to the power of the content of cell E2. Now for a power function, I've generated a power series with this formula. To get the statistics for the power function, we need to take the log base 10 of both sides of the equation. So now we need to take the log base 10 of the known y array and the known x's array. The only trick is it returns the log base 10 of a. So to get a, we just do 10 to the power of the content of cell E2. Now for the polynomial. Here's the xy pairs I digitized from the plot of a LM339B comparator, output low voltage versus the output sinking current. The trick is to raise the known x's array to the number of orders desired in curly brackets, separated by commas. I decided to make the r squared value very close to 1 and do a fifth order set of coefficients. The spill array has all five coefficients and b. Now we can generate a polynomial equation to return a sinking output voltage per a given sinking current. The five coefficients were copied and pasted as values on this sheet. 
That way, this sheet can be copied into any other workbook being independent on the LineST spill array. Here's a summary. For the linear, the LineST function is straightforward. For the logarithmic functions, get the natural log of the known x's. For exponential functions, take the natural log of the known y's. For power, take the log base 10 of the known y's and the known x's. For polynomial functions, raise the known x's to a set of curly brackets with the number of orders you desire separated by commas. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.